Okay, I was asked to do a little more complete uh, analysis of how this uh, little Johnson controls A419 uh, electronic uh, temperature controller works. Uh, this is just representative of all the different brands uh, of electronic temperature controls. If you look inside Okay, here's where the sensor hooks up right here, these two wires here. I'm going to pull this off and I'm going to show you how that sensor actually works. Okay, there's the bulb that's the sensor. And uh, I'm going to take this and put it in some cool water. And I'll show you what the temperature is, uh, or what the resistance is. Because I've got an ohmmeter right here that I'm putting across this uh, temperature probe and uh, we got 0.986 kilo ohm so just under one kilo ohm okay now if I take this thing out and put it in my hand like I'm doing right here you'll see it immediately starts rising Okay, that's called a thermistor. Uh, the electronic part that changes its resistance with the temperature. That's all this thing uses to sense temperature. Okay, we're back hooked up right there. So the sensor is just placed, you know, wherever you need it. This is mostly a uh, box temperature type unit, could be duct temperature, could be just uh, space temperature, something like that. It's not really made for uh, contact, although it will actually work for contact temperatures. But uh, using the thermistor with the electronics that are in this thing, all it's going to do is it's going to change the temperature as the uh, resistance of the temperature probe changes. So, uh, that's why you read the different temperatures on there. It just transfers it. Okay, if you look under this, this is where your power wiring comes. You got AC input here, 240 volts on this side, 120 volts, it'll work both ways, and your other lead goes to the common. Now, you got an output over here, this could be, it could be the same power you bring in here. You put a jumper over to the common if you want, or you can use, uh, you know, another uh, voltage source for, uh, for the output. But it's just a normally closed and normally open switch. And you set, when you set the parameters in this thing, whether it's open on rise or close on rise, uh, so uh, you can run, you can run direct, uh, directly to a compressor on this. Uh, it's a pretty small compressor, probably quarter horse is about all you're going to be able to run. This will probably run control voltage to a contactor or something like that to turn on the unit if it's any size at all. Uh, but that's pretty much the way this thing works. Uh, it's not real complex. It won't run on 24 volts, so you have to use 240 to make this thing work. And that's the way this thing operates. This is 83 degrees in here with all my lights on and stuff. Uh, hope this helps.